some people watching who are a bit more keen-eyed than most might notice that I've recently had a haircut. And I thought I'd regale you with the with the tale of this haircut trip because, as you know, we're sort of starting to come out of lockdown now. And um, during the more sort of intense period of lockdown, I decided, you know what, my hair's getting a bit long, so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a go. You know what, I'm gonna give it a go. So I I bought myself a pair of razors and uh, I tried to cut my own hair. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't go that badly. I was surprised. Um, I didn't touch the top because I don't, I don't feel like you can get away with touching the top when you don't have any experience of cutting hair. Um, but I didn't realize that it probably wasn't as good as I thought it was until I went to the barber three days ago. And within about five seconds of sitting down, he immediately knew that I'd cut my own hair. <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to be like, I wanted to like play it off kind of cool and just be like, yeah, I wanted to try and, you know, learn a new skill and, and you know, tr- try something new. But I literally just sat there and just went, yeah, I cut my own hair. And I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed about it. It was Cutting it hair was... is one of those skills that you only realize how much skill it takes until you try it yourself. Oh, why definitely. there is such thing as barber college. Definitely. It was, uh, those, those guys are actually like massively underrated and, and women, of course. Um, massively underrated. And oh, I was smiling from cheek to cheek when I got my hair cut. It was amazing. Um, but yes. I still anyway. haven't been for a haircut since lockdown started. I think I've missed what would have been maybe three or four haircuts. And as a result, my hair looks incredibly silly. I, I can do this now. I, can, I have to it, duck right down in frame so that you can see how very high long. my hair goes up when I put it up. It's very long. The, I mean, this as well. Oh. But I mean, I was going to mention this um, because obviously you're sort of part of a cohort of YouTubers that came out of Uni of York, like um, Matt Gray, Tom Scott, yourself. And you all have quite iconic hair, if you know what I mean. Like it hasn't changed across... Maybe when 12, you say we're part 12. of a, a cohort of YouTubers, like I think what you mean there in that specific case is that we all literally graduated on the same day from the same university. Yes. <laughs> That's Maybe exactly there is something I mean. about York Uni that you know means that something special will happen to your hair if you go on YouTube. Mm-hmm.